Hi, I'm Shane Delia, Sons of the West Ambassador and Chef. I'm joined with the legend, Tony Libratore. We're going to show you how small changes in your cooking and eating can make a big difference later on. So what do you reckon we get in there and start cooking? Let's do it. Let's go, mate. Pasta is one of those dishes that everybody cooks at home because it's really easy, it's really quick, tastes good and it fills you up. But is eating a big bowl of carbs and pasta always the best thing to do? Probably not. You know, you, you, I'm not saying eating pasta is bad, eating pasta can be good, but don't have a big bowl of the actual pasta and just a little bit of sauce and a little bit of veggies. Why not go the other way around? Put a little bit of pasta and more veggies and more meat and, and actually eat the, the, the sauce and that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my meatballs, instead of traditionally with, with uh, beef, I'm going to use a pork mince, because pork is actually quite a lean, min, uh, lean meat. Once it's been trimmed up properly and you buy lean pork mince, it's actually a really good meat, so don't be afraid to use it. A lot of people put heaps of breadcrumbs in their mix. I don't think you need to. All it's there is to just bind it together and give it that bit of a texture of a, of a soft meatball. So, a little bit of breadcrumb, some salt to season, bit of pepper and start with one egg and see how you go. If you need more, you can always add more, but I think that might be enough. Bit of a mix. And this is something, again, if you've, if you've got kids at home, kids love doing stuff like this. You can crack all the stuff into them, pass it off, they can mix it up and it engages them in, in what you're doing. And if, you, if, if, you, if your kids are anything like mine, um, <laughs> when, as soon as they see something green in there, they're like, well, I don't want to eat it, Dad. But if they've actually cooked it, um, and you get them excited about it while you're cooking it, it's easier for them to put it down because they felt like they're a part of it. Now, the bigger you roll them, the longer they're going to take to cook. So I reckon the sort of that golf ball size is always a good way to start. What you have to do now is make the sauce. Really simple sauce. You always need onion. So you don't have to get fancy with it. You don't have to get it really fine, but if you did want to slice an, uh, tr dice an onion, the best way to do it is to peel it, make some incisions down the middle, you know, two or three. Sharp knife is always important, because it means you've put less pressure as you're pushing, pushing through, which makes it actually safer. So some incisions one way, don't go all the way through, three quarters, and then some slices the opposite way. and then some slices straight down the guts. And that gives you a nice diced onion. Some sliced garlic. Now, you, if you've got fresh tomatoes and you want to use fresh ones, great. All you do is get them fresh, get a grater, like a cheese grater, and grate them up. And that's a nice fresh way to make the sauce. But if you haven't got time or you can't find fresh tomatoes, there's no problem using a diced tomato from a tin. But I wouldn't go using uh, one of the pre-made tomato sauces. A couple of reasons. One, you don't really know what's in there. They're packed with sugar and packed with salt. This way, you can really start to measure what you're putting in. And you can also get the flavor right. It may be a bit easier, but that's not what this is about. This is about cooking good food that's tasty um, and, and getting the most out of it. So as soon as you've got those done, I think a bit of veggies in there is always good. I'm using some kale just because there's a lot, of around, a lot around at the moment and it's really nice and fresh and it's really good for you. So I'm just going to put that aside, chop it up and pork and kale and onions and garlic are all beautiful flavours together. The other flavours I'm going to cook with that a little bit of cumin seeds. I think cumin seeds are a big flavour. And like when, you, when you're eating at home, you want to taste food that actually tastes like something and it's full of life. So a bit of cumin seed can really lift that. Generally, these tin tomatoes can be a little bit bitter. And what you do normally is you add a tablespoon of sugar or something to try to counteract that sweet and that sour. But you don't have to. There are other ways around it. You know, fresh dates are a great, great alternative. They're really sweet, they're, they're natural sugar, and, it's a, and, it's, and it's, a, it's a lot more flavor than using sort of a, uh, an unrefined or a raw sugar. So I'm gonna remove the pip from the inside. And just really, really simply, 
just chop it up. And these are easy to find. You know, you see them in all your major supermarkets in the fruit and veggie aisle. And a great alternative than using, you know, white or brown sugar. I'm also going to add to this dish a bit of almonds because almonds and pork and kale are great together. They're, they're not a necessity. You don't need them in there. But if you've got them in the pantry, which I'm hoping most of you blokes do now, um, they're a great snack also just to munch on during the day. And they're a lot better than going for that chocolate bar or the bag of chips. So all that's ready to go. It's time to get onto the stove. So cooking pasta is pretty simple. Boiling water. Just going to pick out as much pasta as you need and it's probably enough for one portion. Straight in the boiling water. Pasta goes straight in the pot. Just give that a little bit of a move around so it doesn't stick. And I know spaghetti and meatballs refers to the spaghetti or the fettuccine, but it doesn't have to be. You can also use other starches or, or, or another filler. And brown rice is a great alternative. Um, easy to cook, a lot better for you. Straight in the boiling water, 15, 20 minutes, and you just take it out and check it like normal rice. When it's soft, it's cooked. And I think it's great with stuff like this because it sucks up the sauce. And you could also use that brown rice for other dishes later on. So, our pan. Olive oil. And the first thing you start with is your meatballs because you want to get them nice and brown. I reckon that's more than enough for one serve. And you don't want to cook them fully now because you've still got the tomatoes and all the veggies and everything to go through it. Just want to seal them off and release some of the flavour of the pork into the pan because that's, that's what we're cooking the rest of the sauce in. So as soon as those are browned off, I'm going to start to add my onions and garlic. Some of my almonds because these aren't roasted and I want to get a bit of colour on them. And you can start to smell straight away those onions and garlic and the smell of the pork mince in there. And I think the best flavour with, with a bit of pork mince is a touch of cumin seeds. And these aren't, this isn't cumin powder, these haven't been roasted, these are straight out of the packet. And now is when you want to add them. And you only want to add, you know, like a, oh, it's a quarter of a teaspoon, just to sort of release that flavour. And you add into a hot pan to release the flavour. Mix that through. Now's the time I'm going to add my dates. So you want to heat them up and get that sugar melting. And my green veggies. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in there. There's a lot of veggies, there's meat, there's dates, there's almonds, and that's the real meal. You know, the meal isn't the pasta. This should be the meal, because this is where all the, all the freshness is. If you had fresh tomatoes, now is when you'd add them, you'd grate them, put them in there, or a little bit of these tin crushed tomatoes. And just a touch of water that I've just put in that pan to get out all the little flavours and sediments from that tomato tin. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and let that simmer for about five minutes and that'll be done. All right, so as soon as that sauce has started to thicken up and the meatballs are cooked and it tastes good, it's done. Pasta's cooked, so pasta out. Straight in the sauce, a bit of a mix through. Now pick, up, pick up your pasta, and like I said, you only need a little bit because there's heaps of veggies in there and heaps of flavour. Your meatballs, there's veggies, there's kale, there's almonds, tomato, there's lots going on in there. And really, you know, 50 mils of olive oil, no butter, and it's a tasty meal.